Good afternoon. Amuja kula lunch? Eh, sasa si mufas sasa. Okay, can we all, uh, can all of us stand up please? I want us to sing the first part of our national anthem before we proceed. Yeah. so much. Now you can sit. My name is Ahmed Abdi, founder and current CEO of Amana Insurance Brokers. First of all, let's say Blaze. 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 Safaricon is the only brand in Kenya that takes care of the youth. Do you know why? Because we have a platform whereby we are engaging today. If you are at the age of 29, from 30 to 10, this is our platform. It's our own, not for Safaricon anymore. Sinivo was there. Blaze Nietu, say many evil. Blaze Nietu. Eh? So let me, let me uh, 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 pick my topic. Never give up in life. As my colleague says, I was once a Matatu Todd. I ended up becoming a tan boy. Eh? I ended up becoming again, uh, I ended up in a garage. And today, I am very passionate running my own company. Eh? You hear? I am running my own company. And by the way, I, am not, I don't come from a rich family. Neither do I. I am not connected. It's a hard work. If you guys work hard, I'm sure it's going to pay you. How many of you are the age of uh, 20 today? Just raise your hand if you are the age of 20. Okay, how many of you are the age of 24? Just raise your hands, please. How many of you have just finished their university? Just raise your hands, please. How many of you are lucky? Their parents, they have paid their school fees. How many of you here? Just raise your hand. Let me start, about my, let me start my story. At the age of 10, I was actually I was an entrepreneur. What I was doing was I was selling chickens and eggs. You hear me? I was selling chickens and eggs. I used to feed the entire village where I used to live. I, I come from a Garissa because Garissa actually... We are on the wrong side of the law. Every time, oh, Garissa and Mbaya, what you hear in the media today is not what is there. You see, a proud son is here in front of you. I come from Garissa, isn't it? So at the age of 10, I was selling chickens and eggs. Uh, I finished my high school in 2000, and, uh, my primary in 2002. I used to be the top 10, but uh, in, case, in KCB, uh, I, I, I became the top 10. I became uh, last uh, top 10. So I went to Burra Secondary School, a high school that's far from Garissa. Uh, I only went two terms. After going for two terms, that was the last time I've ever went to high school. So immediately I ended up in a garage. You, see, you hear me? I ended up in a garage. I did it for eight months. But I knew that I had a determination. I never gave up. So I took it with both hands. During eight months, I left it. Then now I ended up becoming a matatu taught in Garissa. Beba, 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 ishirini. That was uh, 15 years ago. So after there, now I ended up becoming, uh, I ended up, uh, becoming a tan boy for those long truck drives, uh, dr trucks that you see, th those that goes from Mombasa all the way to Rwanda. So I did for seven months. Then I said, enough is enough. And you can imagine being the firstborn of a, of a sibling of 11 kids. My mom, my dad never had a job. So my mom used to sell mandasi, sambusa on the road, and bananas. My dad never had a job. He was not lucky. He never had a job. So alikuwa na uzanga mbuzi ili apate faida. So in 2006, I ended up going to Mombasa. So my kilos was only 38. Every day it was going down. You can imagine you're out of school. 
your colleagues are in a high school eh? they are bragging that we usomangi na hata haujafanikiwa unaona so i ended up going to mombasa 2006 uh, i stayed with my uncle i've started writing now letters to all to all ministry that i know including even the minister of education safaricom pde at that time professional director of education district education of sa and many other companies that i know none has actually responded so i stayed from mombasa almost seven months i wasted seven good months in mombasa and my kilos was actually going down because of the stress that i was going through so after one year again in 2008 in 2007 uh i came back again to garissa did the same thing uh, i became again a makanga so i did for five months i graduated to a driver after four months so i did it for another four months 2008 is when i came to nairobi 2008 is when i came to nairobi uh, my cousin have actually called me and told me that ahmed you have to come to nairobi so i came to nairobi I had no education background at that time, except the primary certificate that I had, the KCPE that I had. So I saved some, uh, some little money, about 9,000. I registered as a private candidate for KCAC. That was 2008. I tried all I can. I got C minus. I never gave up. I ended up going to a college. I did insurance. I did strategic management. I did marketing. I did degree. Today I'm doing my master's at the University of Liverpool. Yeah. So all those, all those, those, all those faith, you know, I have not lost a faith, you know. If you lose a faith, my brothers and sisters, there is no way you're heading. So faith has been moving me day by day, every day, you see. And I had determination. I was working hard. And uh, today, my dad and my mom are the happiest couples in their lifetime. This year, I'm taking them to a, a Saudi Arabia so that they can do their hajj. I built for them a house, and they're very happy. So the advice I have for you now as my brothers and sisters, never lose faith. And you know, the good thing about our generations, the good thing about our generations for today, we have the ability, we have the talent, isn't it? Yeah, we have the ability, we have the talent. So, if you get an opportunity, please took it with both hands. Don't be a guy who goes to the street and, you know, they want money. Money will actually follow you. Follow your heart, follow your dreams, and have a passion in business. When life gave me a, a lemon, I took it, I give it a lemonade. You hear me? Hey, Wazeya, Mulilala. Hey, hata hamuongei? Eh? Hamuna sikiza? Sasa, ile advice ni kwa nayo sasa leo. Siwapati pesa, siwapati kazi, na hamwezi mkatuma CV kuangu. All of you can create jobs. I'm sure we have many degree holders today here. Let's be a country that creates jobs. Let's not be a country that drops CVs that look for a job, isn't it? Eh? Huh? Hapa naona hata kuna kazi. Sahi hivi mimi naona nimepoteza pesa nyingi sana. Ningepatia mtu kazi anitengeneze orange juice ama passion auze shilingi 20 20 hapa. Pesa ngapi ningepata leo? Ama pesa ngapi ungezipata wewe mwenyewe? So last year I was part of uh, top 40 under 40. I'm also among uh, uh, 30 under 30 promising men in Kenya. Uh, this year I'm, I'm waiting for vops. 30 under 30 in Africa.